I'm Josh from Vacuums RS and Sewing 2 in Arvada and Boulder, Colorado. And today I'm going to show you how to unclog a classic XL style Auric vacuum cleaner. Um, so we got a black one here. These are commonly, you'll see a lot of them that are gray. That was their, in their heyday, they were selling hundreds of thousands of them. They are susceptible to clogs, but these are actually pretty easy to unclog and I'll show you how. So step one, you want to verify if you actually have a clog. Now this machine is not clogged but we're gonna be using it for demo purposes. And I'm gonna show you how to check if it's clogged before you even get into this. So you turn the machine on, and what I do is I depress the bag, right? So it's deflated, right? I turn the machine on. You see how the bag inflated on me? That means it's not clogged. So if your machine isn't picking up well, and it is inflating the bag like that, your issue is not a clog, it's something else. Um, I would suggest looking at some of our other videos about replacing brushes and belts. Those are two very common things. But let's say your bag does not inflate. You push it in and it just kind of sits there where it inflates very slowly. That means you have a clog which is obstructing the airflow from getting into the bag. So, step one, see if we can locate the clog. So what I'll typically do, and boy we do a lot of unclogs of Oryx out here in Colorado. I'll take your bag off and look in there, see if you got a clog in there. So there's really two ways on this design vacuum cleaner that clogs will originate. Sometimes people will overfill the bag. If you have kids, that's what happened. <laughs> They'll overfill the bag and it will back down into the vacuum cleaner, right? And so you'll see a clog right here. At that point, you know that you're clogged up top, right? If you don't see a clog there, then it's probably at the base of the vacuum cleaner. Again, if you have kids, they probably ran something over they shouldn't have. So if you look inside, you can see where the air is supposed to flow down there. You have an intake. Sometimes you'll see the clog right there and it'll be real obvious. Other times, maybe not, right? So <clears throat> I'll take off the base plate and I believe it's five screws here. And this is actually, again, this is a super, super easy unclog to do. One, two, three, four, so now on XL style vacuum cleaners, there's three screws right here, which hold in your, um, your squeegee right here. Um, we only have two screws. Um, this customer was very helpful and they started removing screws for us before they brought it in. Uh, don't do that. Um, so it is missing a screw. These you don't need to take out. You take out the one, two, three, four, five. And then this plate will pop right out. And we're inside here. So there's a really short intake here. Um, if you have a clog, it could potentially be here. Now at this point, you can actually see straight into it. If you pop the brush out like that, you can absolutely see if there's a clog in there. Um, if there is, there are only three screws that hold the motor and, and this intake in. You'll need to loosen those three screws. On this machine, it's one of the newer Oryx. Um, the older Oryx, these screws are Phillips heads, super easy. On the newer Oryx, they actually use a Torx bit. That's a T, T20, yeah, it's a T20. It's that star shape you can get it from a hardware store. But the size that you're looking for is, is T20, it stands for Torx. So I'm gonna pull out one, two, three screws. And so now like kind of this whole assembly is gonna just kind of come up just like that. And now that will pop out. If you have a clog in there, um, or clog right there in the fan, right? If you had something in there, you can easily get it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and I'm gonna show you next how to deal with the clog in the tube. Okay, so if you verified uh, that you have a clog up here, you can kind of pick it out with needle nose, right? And one thing you can do is take the machine outside, outside, take your bag off like this and plug it in, point this away from anybody right and turn it on so by removing the um the restriction that the bag provides you sometimes can just get these things to shoot their clog and i warn you it will shoot 15 or 20 feet right so take it outside point it out at the yard where it's not going to hurt anybody plug it in you may very well be able to kind of pick out the clog right here turn it on and it'll shoot out sometimes you'll remove the clog here turn it on and then there's more clog down in the tube and it'll push up you can pick some more out, turn the machine off, pick some more out, and then turn it on again and it'll unplug itself. Uh, that's super easy when that happens. Now's a great time for our disclaimer. 
Uh, I am not liable if you hurt yourself trying to unclog your vacuum cleaner, shooting clogs about around your backyard or whatever. If you're not comfortable with anything we've shown here, bring your vacuum cleaner to an authorized org service center and they will assist you with your repair. Now, say you do have a clog in the tube, you've picked it out with the needle nose, it's still in there, it's not coming out. This actually comes apart super easy. So you have a ring down here and you have a ring up here. You can twist that ring, bring it up. You'll see there's a little gasket right here as well. I can bring that up and that'll hold that up there. Typically the bag down here will connect somehow to the base. On this, I've got a little, little springy hooky thingy right there. I can unhook that and now the whole thing will come off and I can actually get directly into the tube. The tube is also connected at the top up here. I can unscrew that. Again, there's a gasket and then the tube will come off and I can look through it and see that it is not clogged. And that's how you clog, unclog an Auric XL. It's pretty simple. I mean, honestly, when people bring these into our stores clogged, uh, pretty much anybody in the store is gonna have that thing unclogged in about five minutes on the front bench for them and have them ready to go.